What's up everyone, it's Magasan Fjord and today I will show you uh, how to install Nougat update on your Samsung Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge device. So this will be instruction how to install uh, Android 7.0 and for that you will have to have uh, some tools and PC, USB cable, uh, drivers and I will show step by step first of all guys I want to tell you that uh, today I will be not installing it on my device because here is very important thing that you need to know so the first thing think when you update your no gut uh, when you update your device through Odin device uh, Odin software so make sure that you will lose your warranty and also you can soft brick device but the most uh, thing that I don't like is that once I update this um, my phone through, uh, through Odin I will not be able to receive OTA updates which mean I will not receive updates uh, through the error so it's like OTA it's updates um, over the air and um, so um, first of all uh, you have to download few software and you will be able to download that from my website which I will put into description and uh, a second so the website will be VIX on the VIX you will be able to see that so um, just a second, I will get into there. Okay. And here we are. So, this is my website. And from here, you will be able to download a lot of uh, good stuff. So first of all, make sure that you download latest Samsung USB drivers. So you can be downloaded here. Then Odin 3.12.3, and this is the main files that you need to download. Also, make sure uh, there is very very important thing before you do is making a USB cable um, is USB debugging. So go into device about my device and then go to software info and then go to just a second i think it should be somewhere here build number just click build number for a few times and now the developer mode is turned on once it's turned on you can just go back and go to developer options and here you see the developer options and there will be USB debugging. So make sure to tick that and just allow, click OK. So once it's done, perfect. So, uh, well, another thing uh, after downloading these two files, this one and then this one, yeah, I'll click that. So um, now, you will also have to download the firmware, which you can find on official Sun Mobile's uh, website. So you type in like this, and then find you find your firmware. And for my case, this is Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge with this one. Okay. And then I click search. I also make sure that you log in to your website, to this website. So if you don't have account, you will have to join to download uh, the firmware for free. And also I recommend to download not uh, to carrier uh, locked, but unlocked. So in this case, for example, United Kingdom and Ireland, you also can um, install this software from SiteSense. So just click on that, scroll down and just click regular download. And you will have to select free option in order to, 
to download free but you make sure that before you download you will have to log in or create a new account so basically the download takes around 2.5 hour so also make sure that your connection will be throughout 2.5 hour stable because otherwise you if you will lost your connection of internet you'll not be able to download this software so that's very important and um, okay so let's go on and um, once the software is installed you uh, first of all uh, I will show you how it looks like so we go to okay so basically the file will look like this once it's downloaded just make better focus okay so this is the file and this is the weight of it and uh, also so but you will have to extract this into the place that you want and here is on my desktop and you will see that the extension has tar.md5 also after downloading Odin you also will have to extract Odin so this is already extracted to my desktop and also uh, when double click on the folder you will have to select uh, right click and then run as administrator so that is very important make sure that you do that also um, so now what we'll have to do we'll have to turn off our device so just power off and once it's completely powered off just wait a little bit make sure to wait like 10 seconds maybe 5 seconds that's enough and now well, you will have to click free uh, button simultaneously so you can start from the volume down home button and power button and I will do that now Okay, now you will see receive this notification. This is a warning. Uh, no worries, just click volume up to continue or you can also choose volume down to cancel if you click that by mistake. So let's do click for power uh, volume up. And here we are in the downloading mode. And here's make sure guys the let's take a look. I have just a second I will make better focus if I'll be able. Okay, it doesn't work. So you see that system status is official and and also current binary Samsung official. So this device has not been modified by Odin. So that's why I'm not uh, doing any Odin um, update here but I will show you how it is made so once the device is in download mode make sure that you use your cable in this case um, use I prefer and I suggest to use the original cable uh, or you can also use third-party cables but make sure that the device will be found here on the Odin so in this case this is not original but still it will work but I really recommend using the original ones Samsung so once I put in you saw uh, you see com point uh, com uh, number 8 which is port number 8 and port number 8 is added great what you do next you will have to click on the second oh. Okay, so click on AP and then we put this file on into our desktop. So click on that and now, so you see, please wait and you will have to wait. Like it also show not responding, but just uh, be patient. Wait for like two to five minutes, I guess. Sometimes it dependable on also many factors such as PC speed, so here we are, just wait a little bit and also guys um, I will put into my description a tutorial of video how to 
if for example if you get if you fail if you get message here that it's failed here you will for example a red one red labeled a message fail so there will be a tutorial how to fix that from the previous year and for some cases it will work so not for all cases and uh, if for example if you still have a problem so please contact me uh, and I will try to help you so you see that it was checking MD5 finished successfully and leave CS so here we are and it shows that uh, and also according to binary size which is over 3 gigabytes we understand that it has been added successfully so uh, the next thing what you have to do you will have to click start so click start and you will be and also after afterwards you will see that uh, you will have to wait like from 5 to 10 or 15 minutes and see if there will be a green pass so that means everything is, is okay and make sure do not um, stay this cable connected if for example you will remove that so you will have to go back and do the same but if you have a fail so please contact me or find on the forums how to fix that and no worries do not panic never it it's really uh, repairable fixable so thank you for watching guys and i hope you enjoyed this video and please like subscribe for more uh, interesting stuff and also i uh, before i end i also want to tell you if for example if you if you decide not to do um the updating through odin so in this case just click the same volume down power button and home button just do that and you will be restarted to your primary um primary uh, yeah stage so i will do that so clicking volume down power button i'm um, sorry volume down home button and power button so i just click and wait a little bit oh you see now it's it's restarting okay so it's restarting and I'll be waiting for official update through the year because so you see we are on the back we are back after device reset so thank you for watching and peace out